Welcome to Finance Friday. Last time we mentioned Nevada earned an F in education funding by the Education Law Center and Rutgers School of Education. We are really excited about support for education shown by legislators, the governor, and voters in recent years, but it's important to know that not all money intended for education is going directly to Nevada schools. According to the Nevada Independent, the state legislature enacted initiative petition number one into law, a 3% hotel room tax increase in Clark and Washoe counties meant to supplement education funding that was supposed to start in 2011. Due to the continuing recovery from the recession, some of that cash has been steered towards other needs in the state when the state's distributive school account, which is the state's main source of education funding, meets its funding requirement. Also, more recently, the 10% retail tax on recreational marijuana. That cash was originally intended for education, but has largely wound up going to the state's rainy day fund instead. That's according to the Nevada Independent. And we appreciate that legislators and the governor have invested additional funds for students who need it the most, like English language learners and low-income students. We're really excited about the results we're starting to see but there was an unintended consequence that we are not able to use those funds for employee costs, our largest expense. We look forward to working with lawmakers during the 2019 legislative session to continue to work to ensure all students achieve with sufficient resources. As always, to learn more about the district's budget, head on over to openbook.ccsd.net.